evening everybody good evening well tonight um i hope everybody's had a really nice sunday um uh, sunday i'm on sunday <laughs> monday i mean yesterday i'm gonna you saw me do i think it was yesterday or day before can't remember slept since then <laughs> Um, you saw me make some pockets in this doily book that I'll be doing with you. Um, it's to go in the box. And tonight I want to make the tags and I want to make a bookmark um, to put in. Um, this book's all going to be about embroidery, sewing. Um, so I think every sewer, crafter, um, I don't know whether they had books. They probably had books back then. What am I on about? But anyway. I'm going to make a bookmark and I'm going to make some tags that you guys can write on or you can add your own things to because at the end of the day this is what this doily book is all about so with the dyed trims now if that bright is too light which I think it may be how about that right on my graphic 45 I have um, some stencils now this is on the front right and i had a tag there which if i can find it it'll be on my tray if anywhere wait a sec bear with me bear with me oh god what have i done what have i done what have i done um, 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 um. i can't find the tag i did have it and i can't find it I put it somewhere. I cut it out because I was using it if earlier on. Um, and anyway, it's just like a normal tag. Um, it's a bit bigger than this one. I actually made this one myself. Um, I'm going to make a, a similar one too to, of it tonight. Um, but also in the back of this book are some more stencils. So we're going to cut the stencils out. Um, I can always photocopy the stencils, but why is this difficult to come out? Right, there we are. So I can always photocopy the stencils. I'm not bothered by that. I also have next to me a scoring board if I need one. Um, so I'm looking for some tags, like I say, or, you know, something to put in those pockets. Now, I made a spool with some fabric, um, some fabric I'd cut out, um, copied. It's got lines on, so you can add to it front and back. Um, so I need to make some tags. Now, in the Graphic 45, you get a folder. And I actually made one up earlier, but it's a little bit too big. See, and I've started to put, um, that is doily and this is paper. And I've actually pinched paper. And believe it or not, every time I punch, my dog runs a mile. I don't know whether she thinks I'm punching her, which I'm not. <laughs> but she runs a mile. She can't stand me punching the stamps out. So anyway, I made that earlier. And like I say, I have got the tag that I cut out as well. Um, but in amongst all this, there is a four six card, and then there's gift tag in diamond shapes. There's also a gift tag pocket, which I think may just fit in our pocket. So let me measure it. Swap my room around today as well. Well, no, Chris swapped it around. That's two and a half inches. Let me see the opening. Yeah, that would fit quite nicely in that book. Yeah, he um I must admit he he did he swapped it around, not me. And uh don't get me wrong, it's nice as it is, but it's like I touched my stuff and it was all organized, like in an organized mess. <laughs> I think. But uh, yeah, that's what he's been doing today. And then I came in and obviously tidied it up because I'm sure that I'm not the only uh, 
person would say this, that when somebody moves something, you can never find it, even if they have all the best intentions in the world. So I've been tidying up as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this out. Now, like I say, I can make a full copy. I might just do, actually. I need to cut it out first. And then make a photocopy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I am going to go and cut this out. And I'm gonna go and switch the photo, um, switch the printer on, and then I'm gonna go and photocopy this. And I think, well, I don't know. Let me just cut this out, and then I can. So I'm gonna go and cut it out. Um, I'm gonna go and photocopy first, cut it out again. Um, so I've always got the. The original template and then I'm going to cut it out on my graphic 45 paper and I'm going to come back so I'm sure you don't want to see me sitting here all night cutting so bear that in mind it'll be a second for you but it may be 20 minutes for me and I'll be back right I am back hey see that didn't take long I've only been here 20 minutes. That light is still too bright for me, so bear with me. Like I say, I've been moving my room around, so I just want to get the light in perfect. Um, right, let's begin. I have printed a tag out. I've printed an envelope... Um, an envelope thingy pocket out and I've printed you know those diamond ones that we saw um, let me see if I can find them where are they where are they gone oh, it, oh you are I can see them I can't see anything without looking today these all I've done is I've printed one out which is this one is my hardback copy and all I do if it's my copy I write copy on the back right and that way I know it's my copy I won't ever um, use that because it's my copy otherwise what I cut out I'm not gonna have a copy of right the pen's running out so red pen it is my days, man. That's the copy of that one. And then this one was the copy. Yep. So I've, I've always got now a copy of them. So if I use all the papers, which in no doubt Anchia will, I've always got a copy of those little pocket folders. Now... Because we're doing sewing themed, let's do one at a time, otherwise I'm going to get confused. We'll do the pocket envelope first. I do really want you to see what I'm doing. Now, this side, because of where I copied it, is also copied the score and fold to score it. So my front now, it could be that. We'll see. We'll see what it happens when I score it and I put it together. If you can see the writing, then we'll use it. If you can't see it, then we won't use it. We'll use the other side. So all I'm doing now is I'm scoring down those lines. I'm using a bone folder to do that and my scoring board. Right. This is what I do use to score my others like I, I, when when I watch people score, they usually use the bone folder to score it again. I tend to use a ruler. I'll match it up with the line. Then I'll fold my piece of paper over. Then use the scorer. And then I get a perfect score line. Same with this one. 
and it doesn't matter if I'm going with the pink side or I'm going with this side actually what what color did we do we did a yellow and lilac didn't we we'll see now which one matches better I'm going to the button shop tomorrow so I'm going to get old-fashioned buttons to put in this envelope or put in one of the envelopes should I say to put in this book I think I'm going to go on the sewing hunt right now what I've done I've scored it now let's see yeah you can see the writing see so I'm hoping now let me get the book that it'll tie in yeah tie in with it I did want to use the right inside just thinking how I can see when I should have put in the photocopy I should have put it the other way let me have a look I've got an idea I wasn't going to do it, but I've got an idea. I'm going to use the writing side of it. Um, and I'm going to use double-sided tape, um, my hot glue gun, and wet glue to do this. So I'm taking my double-sided tape. Now, let's see what piece to do first. I tend to, when I'm making pieces like this, to take the bottom in. And the way to do that is put your tape on the bottom. Oh, yeah, on the bottom. Pull it. And close it and then see which one. This this side ten, tends to be the bigger side. Sorry guys. Tends to be the big. I don't know, that light is really bothering me. So I'm gonna That's better. Sorry guys. I'm just going to take one piece all the way up. Come on. Right. Yeah. Maybe a little bit too much tape. But I'm not bothered because what I'll do, I'm going to put a zip on the back. And as for this, I got an, I think I got an idea to cover it. It's the way I put it in the scanner earlier. Oops. Um, no, it's not that side. Clat is this side it is oh, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. there we are <laughs> right pull that last piece down then that piece then that piece is all folded down and then we've got this top bit now what I tend to do when I'm making my own ones and I'm going to do it with this one is I tend to curve the top by doing this so find your middle there's my middle point there right and from the middle just curve it to the end of the corner leaves a real nice finish that's the finish and if you find like mine is not completely round just take your scissors and round it off just a little bit and then you've got a perfect little envelope now we have got writing and black lines down one side but before i begin there i'm gonna reach over for my zip now I have got a pink zip. I haven't got um I haven't got yellow or I haven't got a white one I don't think. Just looking white zip, white zip, white zip. 
No white zip, only pink. I want you got a pink zip. Never mind. Um, now I could have done it two ways. I do you know what? I'm just thinking about it. I'm going to put that on the front, not the back. And I'm going to cut it here. My sharp scissors. Bring this back up. Yeah, I'm going to the sewing shop tomorrow, so I, um, I can pick up some old-fashioned buttons. I'm really looking forward to that, actually. Right. Um, now I've got that on the front, which I'm going to definitely use, right? But where I want to cover this white up. And the thing that I'm going to think about, now I had these given to me for Christmas. I've got some in cream, and I did have some in white. Yeah, I've got some in white too. So basically, my friend bought them me for Christmas just gone, for miniature. Because when if you cut them out singly, you've got a tablecloth. And that's exactly why she bought them. Now, I just want ours to go over the edge. And it does. So I'm going to have to use two up. And I'm using white. Now I have got right. Have got my glue gun. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a couple of inches each side for me to tuck it over. I'm going to bring it up just that's just enough. So it covers the line at the top too. Right. And go down all the way down the side. See? Sort of, it's giving you a lace effect. But no, my friend bought them for um, miniature um, tablecloths. That's where she bought them for me. And I sort of, when I was tidying up through things, it was in with my Christmas presents that I'd completely forgot I had. I'm going to go up. I think I'll need another one. How far does this come down? Comes down to there. So I might be able to just use the one. Let me find a pencil. Oh, God. Pencil. Chris, been at my pencils again. Chris, has been at my pencils again. I'm going to make it with this. It's going to get covered up anyway. So, what I could do. Instead of bringing this to a V, oh, get mm, there. Here's the V out the way, so you can sort of see the paper inside now. So should be able to just use the one um one needs cut in there and i've decided this styly book is going to be sort of filled full of everything try to pick my tape up then um so i'm going to tell you a little bit more about that lady that embroidered that piece 
because I know how how you all been enjoying me telling you about her. She was 15 when she did the piece and I told you the other day how and why she did it. Um, she liked vibrant colours. So that's why I'm going for yellow, lilacs, reds, pinks, purples. Um, she wasn't... She was she was very very talented lady because back then everything was made for the rich and she in, sort of enjoyed everything she did but she was she, she was sort of meant to do the ugliest part of things if you know what i mean but when she sat down and she did that piece she was working away up the ladder and uh, i just find it so inspiring so I've taken the fact that she was doing something with sewing. Um, I'm going to use pink and brown, I think, instead of pink and black. Um, I'm inspired by the fact that she was doing something with sewing. So the book is not going to be like sewing themed to an extent. Um, and that's why my head's going. Now, I did have a brush earlier. I have a brush. Um, I'm going to go pink first. I'm just going to touch on those edges. Now, you can't see none of the black now. Now, the pink has started to come out. I wish I could show you better light than in you. Because it's white and this is a sort of like um it's like a cloth type thing you know uh, like a pvc cloth um i'm able to dye it So she was 15 when she did the piece. Um, when she eventually worked up the ladder, I was told that she loved doing what she was doing. And she loved sharing her work. Now can you see how that has changed and it's got a tint of pink to it. Might be just making this tonight, eh? can see it happening. I might make the tag as well as the pocket I think tonight. Depends on how much time we're on. I don't want you getting bored. So if you haven't entered the competition, there's still loads of sorry guys, I'm touching the camera every time I do that. There's still time. Um you can participate in it it's just a case of sending me in a minimum of two maximum of four flowers handmade flowers they've got to be handmade and you've got to be a subscriber and you send them make sure you send me an email first so um, once i have received the flowers i can email you um, a number and on the 7th of october um the numbers will go into the hat and then it's whosoever's um whoever's name comes out wins the doily book and wins uh what i've put in the box i've been adding to the box it's more doilies through the post today that looks really nice that's like a real touch tint of uh pink but it looks really really nice just want to put a few more up here. And in this book, you'll be able to add to it. So it'll be sort of a, a journal sort of play. It plays out. And I'll be putting lots more pockets in. Right. And that's my pink done, I think. I'm not going to go crazy with the pink. I just want it suckle enough 
to mix in with that um i'm saying it's going on this page but looking at it i don't know whether it will sink in i think it will because it's not bright pink it might be okay now i'm going to put a little touch of brown just on those edges And I'm using Tim Holtz, uh, it's called Vintage Photo. And if you haven't used the Tim Holtz inks, oh my days, you're missing out. Um, yeah, they're really, really nice inks to play, play about with. Fold this and I am gonna touch it up just on that top. Turn it over. I don't want too much because this brown, because it's cold vintage photo, can be right. So, um, yeah, what was I The battery died. What was I saying? I can't even remember what I was saying. I can't remember what I was saying or doing. Oh, my days, my memory's going totally blank on me. Oh, I'm getting old. Oh, I can't remember what I'm saying. That's really irritating me. Never mind, eh? Battery died, and in amongst all that, I got past a drink, and I've forgotten what I've said. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad. Never mind. So, right then, is I've just punched. This, um, oh yeah, this vintage photo. If you go too much with this um, distress ink, Tim Holtz, it, it, you can go the other way with it. Um, now I'm going to stick this glue, this zip, this glue, this zip right on the front. Because, like I say, I want to follow the theme through of it being um, like a sewing theme. did that the other day right I put the glue on the back of something and I went like that and I caught all three fingers in glue oh didn't I scream it was so painful that one can go there and then glue the other side And I'm going to leave that zip handle like that. And I have got, you know how I dug out um, the little old-fashioned signs? Now have I got one here? Oh, I've got a course of one. Ticket. You are going to put the ticket just in the centre. I'm going to glue that down and put it in the centre. And I'm not going to distress it or anything. I'm just going to put it in as it is. Right, so there's my pocket. Nearly finished. Nearly. Now at the back, uh, my little thing stops there. So I need to cut my zip down. I've got um, a punch board. Anybody know where they are? It's literally, I'm going to put this in a second because I want to make um, some hearts in the lid of that. It's literally a board. Now it's got all measurements on, all inches and all that kind of malarkey. And then you put your punches in the centre. Give me any punches. Um, for our little pocket, I think I'm going to use the two hearts. I was going to use three. might use the three because it's delicate. You literally just put your paper or whatever you... Now, this might need emptying. I think it does look. Actually, I'm not going to empty it in the bin. I'm going to find something that I can put it in. Here because you can use them on your pockets when you've stamped them out. Mm. 
you can use them on your pockets now virtually put your stamp there you put your paper probably should have done this right at the start but never mind you put your paper in the center now i'm going to move some stuff out the way so you can actually clearly see what i'm doing right and literally punch and that is my little pocket it's they're really handy to have and you don't have to put too much pressure down on them so i think um i've got some let me see if i've got any sewing related things now i keep all my sewing related things in here mm, no not anything really in there speak calling out to me let me see if i've got oh what about one of these these are um what do you guys call them like little pins now what I might do is I might make a little thing of this pin. No, I'm not going to even do that. I'm going to add some jewellery to my pin. So that when she sits in there, she'll have something dandling. And I think I may have the perfect thing. So bear with me. And then we're going to do one of the tags. Um... Now, since that's a purple page i think we might add some of this now i'm going to open this cream pin up right and all i'm going to do i'm not i haven't cut this necklace yet i'm going to loop it through one hold it down loop it through another one so you sort of make a pendant and then i'm going to make the third one a little bit longer and I'm going to close it and then I'm going to cut it. So it's going to cut, um, close like that. And then I should get my pliers out really. One. Oh, come on. Oh. it's easy i know i shouldn't have used my scissors I probably won't next time and then i'm gonna slaughter just through the zip through the fabric and back through the other side And then once I close that, which is going to be a bit tricky because she is on card. Come on, close. There. She'll dandle. And how sweet does that look? See? Simple thing like that can really set up the project. I quite like it myself. I really, really like that. I like the little simple simplicity of it at all. I'm just going to glue this side down a little bit more. And then I'm going to secure it just in the centre. And as I did with the card, I'm going to cut this to a V2. There. And I am going to put something in there. While I'm thinking of that, do you guys like that? The simplicity, I like the dandle on it. And it will tie in nicely with our sewing theme so that's going to fit right at the back now like so see 
I'm going to put a little bit of, um, um, like a little bit of tie on the back, just to tie it off. And I've got some nice white tie here, ribbon, lace, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to cut it to there. Leave it open because I might want to come back to it. I don't want to do too much on the back because otherwise I'm not going to be able to close it. Just going to put some up the top. And because this is thin ribbon that I'm using, I'm not going to need be needing a help. I'm not going to be needing a lot of it. And all I'll do is cut it. And he decides to cut and then that will be it's got a little tag as well so while I'm thinking of what to put in that I'm just going to move on and I'm going to do I think I'm going to do the tag to match now with the tag I made this earlier and all I've done is I've used my colour pencils to create the background which is that it's like a pink and um, like a pink and um, lilac and all I did there um, shall I show you what I did I don't know whether to show you I won't show you how I've done it on this one but keep, stay tuned because I will come back and show you how I've done this uh, I've done the background of it um, I'm going to glue this down and I put some netting over the top as well. Now with this one, I'm not going to do too much because I, I think I'm going to leave it for you guys to write in it. I know I have got, and I did print some more of that page, paper. If I can find it. Um, got that. One. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put that in the middle, and I have got a small, tiny one. It's got the lines on. I might cut this down now. I don't think I'll use this on there. I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I've stuck that down now. I'm going to use my lace that I pre-coloured. Remember I did it with you guys? And I'm all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it just down the side. Like so. Oh, glue gun. My wall way away. It's the right and the wrong way. Just going to stick it down one side. Like so. And then I'm going to... I am going to cut this down. But I'm not going to lose too much of it. I'm going to make a bow after that ribbon I've just had. One, two, oh wait, two. My hands are fiddly tonight and then I'm going to wrap loop it over. So it's like so. I'm going to stick that in the corner. And I'm going to cut it off. Right. 
and then all I'm going to do because I don't want it to be too much um, I'm going to find something one of the cutouts that I've done I think she'll just do fine just there she's actually got a dress on her or should I use this one let me have see no this one's quite nice got the bodice and the hair right if I glue you can use your foam pads for this if you just glue down one side of it I'm gonna go there you've actually raised this paper up so this paper now looks raised I'm gonna mark my butterflies out so then you've got the back then to play about with and write on Butterflies. Now, what can I come about flies at all? Let me think. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, I'm going to do some purple butterflies, I think. These are the butterfly. These are the, this is the paper that I did the watercolor on. There's one. I'm gonna do two, and then I can raise them on top of each other. There's my two. on my table such a mess i can just look at it now and i'm thinking oh my days it was tidy two minutes ago right i need my watercolors to make my butterfly stand yeah, pink go pink and i'm just gonna highlight the outline of it with my pink watercolor pencil all the way around not in the inside because you won't see the inside you're really not going to see oops right, so there's the first one in pink and then i'm going to do the second one in purple because they are mixy the the what i've done is i've taken my pencils and I've made myself a nice shading on the on the paper. And all you do is bend it. I'm going to use wet glue for this. the other butterflies in all shapes stick it on top of each other and you get something really thin I use a paintbrush and you squish it in the middle and then I'm going to bring it back over my tag move this out the way so you can clearly see what I'm doing and I'm just going to stamp my butterfly just there there they are and I need something. I know, I know, I've got the perfect thing. When I go out shopping tomorrow, I'm going to get some buttons, I think. I'm going to use a black one this time and put it in the centre to pick up those colours. If you use a dark colour, it'll pick up the light colours. If you use a light colour, it'll pick up the dark colours. So... I've now made two. Well, this is a pocket. And um, when I go shopping tomorrow, it'll have old, old fashioned buttons. It'll hold all that. And that's how it closes. I'm going to use. I'll tell you why I'm done on this one. I'm looking around. I'm just going to snip myself off some of this trim. And I'm going to glue it on the back, like I've done that one. And then you've got the back to write on then. Let me 
just cut the excess off. There. So, let's get our book. This is our book. I'm going to put the tag in first. And then I'm going to put the pocket in. And that is our pocket filling up quite nicely. So I hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed doing that tonight. Um, I'm sorry if the lighting's really bad. I've switched my room around so I've got to get used to the lights. And when I go shopping tomorrow, I'm going to pick up some old-fashioned buttons to put in that pocket. But the book's coming on really nice and I'm pleased with how it's come out. Um, yeah, and let me know what you think underneath. I look forward to it and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care now. Bye for now.